So I'm just going to take a look at Central Square today. Now we picked the, we forced the uh, anniversary edition. So we got the map that started with the ghost house and uh, Sheld School came early and uh, semi-detached house, St. Mary's Church, etc. Now in this map, you get the port. Now the port exit you can do if you have eight diamonds. Now we've done the whole map. We've got four diamonds. The final four, if you want the port exit or central square, which forces you into the back of there. So we're going to take a look at the options there. Uh, I'm going to take Bruno. Um, and we're going to take, um, you've got an option at the back of central square. You can either go combat or uh, you can go sneak. If you go sneak, three um, lock picks is probably what you need. You're going to need one of these. And um, if you want to loot the whole place, which isn't really necessary for the diamonds, you need to take um, two saw blades. So let's take a look at it. So firstly, Central Square, you've got these uh, four traders here. And uh, this one's good for components. If you're in a run where you run shorter components, they're a bit expensive. Um, but he always carries quite a few. This guy's got alcohol, so you could buy this, uh, convert it to distilled alcohol if you've got a distillery, etc. Coffee if you've got coffee drinkers. I think it's this one who's possibly the most useful. No, that's meds and more alcohol. It's this one here. So I tend to come here quite a lot and buy water. I think I came here a day or two ago and bought water. They, they usually have more than 20. And given the expense of uh, making water, that's um, this is quite reasonably priced as well. But if you want the diamonds, you've got to come into the back here. And this is where the first lockpick comes into play. Now there's going to be one guy in here. Now he's usually here, here or upstairs. So you can unlock this. Go inside, door automatically closes. I don't know where he is, he's there, okay. So the sneak version, one of the diamonds you want is here and this is where you would use your second lock pick. So you can pick up your diamond here, and this is where you need your third lock pick because if he comes up and into the room here, you have a, an exit at the back. And then you just wait for him to move up. His pathing path is pretty much here into his bed. Here he comes now. All right, so we got his diamond. Um, let's see where he's gone. Yeah, he's gone into his bedroom. So that's where you might need the uh, third lock pick. And now he's here. He also passes up here later and sometimes at the door. But the other diamonds are down here. Now, if he comes out here, I'm guessing he can see you. But given that he's just gone up, I'm not sure. So these guys don't bother you up here. So these piles are just regular stuff here. We'll look at them in a minute. So this is what you really want, and that's um, this is where the diamonds are. So now that's two, and you also get a gun and bullets there. And that's four. So now you can do the port exit. And what we could do is just run from here. Um, he won't. He'll tell you to get out, but he won't bother you. So um, if he's here. Now, the other option, if you don't want to do the sneak, is to um, get him down into combat. So he can hear us now. So he comes down. And we're going to use a shovel. Four hits, and he's injured and doesn't fight back. Now, Bruno isn't a very um, strong character, so we might get injured here. No, four and back. OK, so now he's, um, he's cowed. You often get injured there with Bruno, and uh, the stronger characters, it's also four hits to get him to submission. Oh, just quickly, um, so we've done that to him, uh, Scavenge. So you can run out and 
you know, nobody's going to bother you here. They're all okay with it. So we're just going to take a quick look at um, what's up here. As I mentioned, he does path up here, but there's really nothing up here that um, I think makes it worthwhile coming up here and using the saw blades. The only worthwhile thing potentially is uh, here, which where you get some food, so two carrots, two meat. But you're by the time you get here, you're going to be mid game at least anyway, and uh, you got some gun parts. And I'm not sure that um, it's really worth it. So just kind of ringing on, just seeing what's up here. But really, once you've got the diamond, diamonds, um, if you got them the sneak way like we did, it's really um, no urgent need or no desperate need to come up here. There's nothing really that valuable apart from that food that we saw again that's empty so it's not like sniper junction where you get a lot of valuable stuff up here uh guitar but by now you've probably got one anyway bullet gun parts So I'd say coming up here is um, pretty marginal value. So before we leave, I'm just going to do one thing. <coughs> now we picked up a pistol. So we've got a couple of options. He's down here, he'll stay here. Now what happens if we shoot him? Okay. Yep, everybody else turns on you. Okay, so we're back here with Roman. So as you can see, by shooting him and alerting everybody here about what you've done isn't a good idea because they'll turn on you and uh, basically you're dead. Nobody seems to get aggravated um, by you coming in here. So let's go in again. So I want to do the same thing, and that is uh, get him aggravated, come down. Now you'll see that um, it's still four hits with a shovel with Roman, even though Roman's a much stronger character. So just let him come. Oh, sneak kill. That was a mistake. Um, yeah, I should have uh, taken him face on. But anyway, let's go see... I haven't done that before. Um, oh, you can't get out that way. So I want to see if um, anybody out here is aggroed. No, they're all okay with it. Okay, let's come back and try that again. I won't. Um, I won't backstab him this time. Okay, so I'm back with Roman for another go. Um, yeah, I normally do this with Bruno, so... Oh, he, this is where he comes out himself, I think. So we're just going to injure him this time, so we'll let him... We'll wait till he goes back in. Okay, so he's finished his cigarette, he unlocks the door, goes back in. This guy doesn't seem to be bothered by anything we do in terms of unlocking the door and going inside. So, um, where is he? Okay, so he's going up. I'm just going to aggro him, get him down. Shovel in hand. And go face on this time. Okay, back away, and he's now cowed. Okay, so nobody out here is bothered by that, and uh, he'll stay in that state. Now, he carries an assault rifle and some bullets, so that's the only real good reason to kill him. Now, we currently do not get a negative status, uh, sorry, negative karma for leaving him in this state. Um, but it, of course, allows us to run around, do whatever we want to do, uh, raid upstairs if we want to, get the diamonds, 
and then we can just leave. Um, as you saw there, um, Roman, it was, it's, it's four hits with the shovel, no matter what um, character. Kind of unnerving that he's still got his gun in his hand, but uh, he doesn't shoot. But yeah, if you want to take him out, you get the assault rifle, but um, you would get negative uh, karma for doing that. And uh, one or two sads in the house, if not more. So we can leave and we've got a diamond. So you can see the sneak options, you can see the wound option, you've got the kill option as well. Now the thing is, we've only wounded him. Okay, so let's go home. Okay, so here we are the next day. So I'm just gonna put Roman to sleep here. Just end the day. And let's head back to Central Square. Let's say we left a few things that we wanted to pick up. Um, so Roman was there, he did all the um, injuring. So let's take uh, Erica. And you run into this guy. So basically, and then everybody's aggroed. So you can't go back. So um, even if you injure the guy, you get back and um, you don't get any negative karma for injuring the guy, but everybody here remembers. So you lose it as a trading option after that because you can't go back. So um, just bear that in mind if you don't do the sneak option. If you do the sneak option, you can go back because um, nobody remembers and nobody's bothered by that. So um, anyway, that's, um, that's Central Square and I uh, hope that was helpful and uh, see you next time. Bye.